Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the best selling products in the clothing category on Etsy to keep our finger on the pulse of where the best opportunity lies. So let's get to it. For this exercise, I typically like to use a product called Etsy Hunt, which has a massive database of Etsy products. So I'm gonna go up to where it says database on the navigation, and they actually have a couple different options. We typically look at the Etsy product database, but let's look at the product chart to start and just take a peek at some of the information on this view. Now, it starts with a default view of top chart. I'm gonna actually go to categories and change it to clothing. And now we can look at the last seven days or the last 30 days. The default view is seven days. I'm going to leave it there. So the number one best selling in the last seven days is a custom mama sweatshirt with kid name on sleeve, personalized mom sweatshirt, gift mama sweatshirt, etc. Christmas gift for mom. And I'm just reading that because that's in their title and they probably are ranked on some of those, if not all of those search terms. Hence why they have made 3,260 sales in the last seven days. That is insane. Uh, the next one, custom mama sweatshirt again. Uh, after that, 60 quotes, most likely Christmas shirt. Okay, so most likely to Christmas shirt. We'll take a quick peek at this product just to show you guys um, so we get an idea. Most likely to drink all the vodka, most likely to drink all the whiskey, most likely to drink all the wine, most likely to be making TikToks, most likely to be on the nice list, etc. Okay. Now, a lot of these ideas will translate over to Amazon and Amazon merch, etc. But always know the rules where you upload. Now, I don't think you're really supposed to be probably putting the word TikTok into your shirt design, but we know Etsy's, Etsy doesn't care. Now, I'm not, this isn't me telling you to do it. This is just me saying Etsy's not going to care. They're not going to stop you. Amazon merch will stop you. And those are the types of uh, rejections on Amazon merch that would get you in a lot of trouble. So I just wanted to share that. Uh, custom dog ears sweatshirt, dog lever sweatshirt. Uh, custom face socks. By the way, I kind of skipped this one, but it looks like someone's selling like blank Bella canvas t-shirts and they also have uh, been just making a killing in the last seven days. But there's an idea. So, I mean, guys, the easiest way to break through and get your first few sales on Etsy is to offer personalization, offer customization. I do not watch hardly any TV at all, but during the NFL season, that is probably the only time I watch television. And Etsy run, runs ads on NFL games marketing themselves as the place to find custom personalized gifts. So take a hint. <laughs> They're telling the world to come to Etsy to buy custom stuff. And um, that's a nice way of getting, you know, your first few sales, your first established listings. The custom face socks is one idea. Uh, the custom dog sweatshirt uh, is another great idea. Personalized boxers. All right, I think Marielle's probably bought these for me in the past. Sorry if that was too much information, but she made me a funny pair uh, a long time ago when we first started dating that with her with her uh, old chihuahua on it. And anyways, I like that idea. Custom pajama pants, custom uh, comfort colors, dog t-shirt, personalized mama sweatshirt. All right, so you guys get the idea here. All right, there's a lot of custom products here. And the ones that aren't custom, just, just for a quick refresher, uh, the non-custom listing had 60 different designs all in one listing, all right? That was the 60 quotes, most likely to drink all the wine, most likely to do this, do that. Up next, let's take a peek at Etsy Hunt's category analysis, just to show you guys the best-selling categories on Etsy right now. Do you think Etsy regrets opening the doors to print-on-demand sellers? I doubt it. Look at the top categories. Tops and tees, t-shirts, uh, stickers, labels, and tags, seasonal decor, digital prints, Tops and tees, uh, surge. Okay, that's the same thing, basically. The, the two columns are basically the same, it looks like. Uh, but let's click T-shirts as a category. Now, just look over my shoulder at the insane boost, all right, of interest that this category has seen since about Thanksgiving. I did mention that Thanksgiving week is when you typically see people really lock in and start making those um, seasonal, like, holiday gift purchases, etc. So just in terms of a sales perspective, from the week of, well, we don't have to get into specifics, but it looks like in the middle of, um, towards late November, there was basically a, a tripling of sales coming in this category of t-shirts on Etsy. So it's a great time to be selling print on demand. Hopefully you guys already knew this from experience because hopefully you you are seeing, you know, a tripling of your sales um, since basically Black Friday, but that's what's going on, you know, here in the data, okay? And here's this other option um, on Etsy Hunt called bestseller analysis or Etsy bestseller here on the navigation. Now, again, I like to sort by category. If you don't want to, 
if you don't care about categories, then you can just scroll and see. Um, you might want to take a peek at like digital, but I'm going to go down to clothing right here. And let's just take a look at some of the best sellers here in the clothing category. So North Pole, matching family Christmas products. Let's take a peek on Etsy here. You guys have probably seen this if you've been doing product research. You've probably seen some of these listings here. One thing we're noticing though is a lot of these best-selling listings are taking the approach that I know uh, Steven from Hello Custom also loves to do on his products, even though I don't know if he's gone to this extent. And that's offering different variations on design in a single Etsy listing, which makes a lot of sense. When you do this, you broaden the appeal, even though it is kind of a templated approach to the custom designs. But this, in theory, should increase your conversion rate, which is a massive metric with regards to the Etsy search algorithm, the higher your conversion rate, generally speaking, the higher you're going to rank in search on those search terms. So this design template is the uh, North Pole correctional. They've got the date, you know, Christmas 2023, and then the crime, bribery, left milk and cookies out for Santa, vandalism, broken ornament, conspiring to commit Christmas cuteness, disturbing the peace, made family wear matching Christmas outfits. I mean, these are hilarious. And uh, it's easy to see why they are, you know, so popular and doing so well here. And that was just one listing. I mean, <laughs> there's a bunch, but that was ranked number one under bestsellers. Let's see. Merry Christmas sweatshirt is number two. All of these have really competitive price points. This one has a list price of $11.76, even though I'm sure it's probably not going to be that cheap when you actually check out. Uh, oh, okay. I misread this and uh, I don't need you guys to correct me in the comments. I, I caught it. I caught it. It doesn't say Merry Christmas, does it? It says Merry Swiftmas because of course it does because it's been the year of selling Taylor Swift, uh, the Taylor Swift gray area. You know, I did that gray area video a couple weeks back and uh, that video kind of sums up my feelings towards this year. I do not sell in the gray area because I am treating this like a long-term business. I started in 2017. It is a long-term business for me, all right? But if you are about to give up, I mean, honestly, if you're going to give up, I, I, I wouldn't fault you. I'm not saying to do this. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just saying if you're going to give up and go to zero, well, you want to sell in the gray area and capitalize on the people that are doing this anyways and don't seem to get in any trouble. I mean, people were literally selling like pictures of Taylor Swift on shirts, not getting in trouble. Pictures of Travis Kelsey on shirts, not getting in trouble. So uh, Mary Swift Miss, number two under bestsellers. Do with that information what you will, okay? If you have zero Etsy sales and you're like, man, this isn't fair, and you went for it, I wouldn't fault you, but again, I'm not endorsing it, and that's not how I personally run my business. Number three, Tis the Damn Season sweatshirt. Take a quick peek at a couple more of these. Tis the Damn Season with an outline of, a, like a very minimalist design with Christmas trees on it. Nice little listing there, the flat gilded mock-up with the rolled sleeves. I know that's been a big trend recently. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about it. Uh, and then after that, we've got Buddy the Elf, which of course, movie reference. We've got Bougie Grinch Leopard Print. Um, the Grinch, again, we don't have the rights to sell that. Next one is a Chiefs sweatshirt, which I highly doubt this person has any affiliation with the Kansas City Chiefs. But, uh, and again, it's another Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey reference. Of course it is. Next one, Grinch, of course, with Starbucks logo, because why not? Uh, and then after that, bye, hope you find your dad. Oh, bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Yeah, of course. Buddy the Elf, uh, Elf, you know, classic Christmas movie reference. It sucks, guys, to see the bestsellers and see people infringing. Not everybody infringes, by the way, right? Like My real takeaways are stuff like this, the North Pole matching family outfits, right? Like, because we can sell these without getting in trouble. I highly recommend against anything, you know, along the lines of selling references to movies or NFL teams. You guys already knew that or pop stars for that matter. Um, but I like doing these videos. It seems like they're well received. If you have any suggestions for how I should, you know, kind of approach them in the future, let me know. But though that's a quick glimpse into some of the best selling apparel products on Etsy. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit the like button. Let the YouTube algorithm know. Subscribe if you're not already. Drop me a comment. I want to hear your feedback on if you like this series. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.